and now zooming out on it so hello <sighs> this is video number 48 i think i'll just number them in future <laughs> i didn't number any other so it won't mean anything to you <laughs> all you know is the one that comes after this is 49 huh right so unlikely history of the united kingdom we are doing the the great of the britain Farming of crops and the domestication of animals was adopted in Britain around 4,500 BC because of the need for reliable food sources and for keeping the postman on his toes. There should have been an of in there, I do apologise. Ah. Early animal domestication did not come easily during the Mesolithic-Neolithic transition. Mesolithic-Neolithic transition of ag -er do <laughs> Oh, I see ag -er do Sometimes my own jokes just fly by me. Honey, I've got a pet for you. Mesolithic Neolithic trans edition of Mrs. Ag uh, do. What's a pet? It's an animal that we will domesticate and it will live in our hut with us and become like one of the family. And yet my mother has to sleep in a bog. The bog's not too pleased about it either. Anyway, meet Rover. What is it? It's a bison. Ooh, isn't Miss Yarn's lad one of those as well? No, he only likes girls. This is a bison, a large, even-toed ungulate in the genus bison, within the subfamily Bovinae. Cute, isn't he? Not really. He takes up half the dwelling, he's eaten the wallpaper mouse, and he can't stop farting. So? Well, those are the reasons you make my mother sleep in the bog. He'll have to go. Get something smaller. The next day. Mr. Agadu. How do you like your new pet, dearest? It's a fish. I know. <laughs> Cute, isn't he? I thought I could teach him how to do tricks and take him under gathering with me. What tricks can a bloody fish do? I've missed a page. Eh, are they stuck together? I don't think there was anything naughty in them. Oh, nurse the screens. Mr. Hang, I do. Well, <laughs> so anyway, pet fish. Well, he can play dead. He's been doing it for over an hour now. He's not very good at fetch yet. I tried throwing a stick and getting him to chase it all morning, but he just wouldn't. He just lied there, not blinking. I tried to mix it up for him. I put a stick at the bottom of the yard and threw him at it, but still no interest. I think he may have MP. I think he may have rigor mortis. Tell you what, I just put him in the fire for 20 minutes, turning every five minutes to glaze him. Maybe that'll perk him up. Good idea. You're so caring and thoughtful, darling, and you're so freaking stupid. Beg pardon, dearest? I said, I'll have you too, Snowcombs. Any more bright ideas for domestication? You know, in case this one doesn't work out like? The next day, Mr. Agadoo, ta-da! What the fuck's that? <laughs> it's a woolly rhinoceros, open brackets, Colodanta antiquitus, close brackets. Cute, isn't he? I'd like him better if he wasn't eating my mother. I wouldn't. <laughs> I don't wish to be critical, you dopey bastard, <laughs> but isn't he a bit, you know, impractical? In what way? Well, let's see. First, <laughs> Give me a second. Go watch another video and come back. Put this one on pause. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Right, okay. Let's try that again. First, he's larger than the hut we live in. Second, He's done a poo in the corner so big you could ski down it. Third, he stinks like a, well, he stinks like a soaking wet woolly rhinoceros on a hot day. I'm no good at euphemisms. So? So we've got your father for all that. I mean, look, you're a hunter-gatherer, right? Couldn't you domesticate something you can take to work and help you? I could take him to work with me. He's a woolly rhinoceros. He's what you're supposed to be hunting. How dare you? I could have the... R S F T P A C T W R open bracket C A on you for that. The what now? Yeah, my thoughts entirely. I shall check these things out before I start reading. The Royal Society for the Protection Against Cruelty to Woolly Rhinoceroses open brackets Colodanta acrotanus close bracket. He died of old age while you were saying that. Oh well, get the oven on. The Neolithic, the Neolithic. The Neolithic Revolution never happened. However, the Neolithic Revolution, ah, that's a different matter. The Neolithic Revolution, which is not as good as the Beatles re uh, Revolution, even with remastering, introduced a more settled way of life and ultimately led to societies becoming divided into differing groups of farmers, artisans and leaders, or farters. <laughs> 
Forest clearances were undertaken to provide room for cereal cultivation and animal herds. Although many wondered why they didn't just go to the empty clearings and say that was a lot of work. <laughs> Only a few actual settlement sites are known in Britain, as cave occupation was common at this time. Although as it took longer to carve a cave out of a hill with a sheep's jawbone than it did to build an entire village, many wondered why they bothered. <laughs> Double time after eight hours, what's the answer? <laughs> the construction of the earliest earthwork site in Britain began during the early Neolithic, circa 4400 BC to 3300 BC, in the form of long barrows used for communal burial, mainly the people who died of exhaustion clearing forests and carving caves. Evidence of the use of cow's milk at this time comes from an analysis of pottery contents. Yes, ev this evidence consists of a rolled up note saying two parts today, please. Okay, I need to rest what is left of my jaw muscles a second, so here's the usual thing. Please buy this book, I'd be very grateful to you. Thank you, and I think you'd enjoy it.